Let's start by denoting the given expression by A. Now A is equal to cos of tan inverse of sine of cot inverse x. Now let cot inverse x be equal to theta. Therefore A can be written as cos of tan inverse of sine theta. Now since cot inverse x is equal to theta, therefore cot theta is equal to x. Now consider a right angle triangle where the angle between the base and the hypotenuse is theta. Since cot theta is equal to x, therefore the base is x and the perpendicular is 1. So from Pythagoras theorem, the hypotenuse is square root of 1 plus x square. Therefore in this triangle, sin theta is equal to the perpendicular upon the hypotenuse which is 1 upon square root of 1 plus x square. Therefore, A which is equal to cos of tan inverse sin theta is equal to cos of tan inverse of 1 upon square root of 1 plus x square. Now, let tan inverse 1 upon square root of 1 plus x square be equal to phi. Therefore, A is equal to cos of phi. Now, since phi is equal to tan inverse 1 upon square root of 1 plus x square, therefore, tan phi is equal to 1 upon square root of 1 plus x square. Now consider a right angle triangle where the angle between the base and the hypotenuse is phi. Since tan phi is equal to 1 upon square root of 1 plus x square, therefore the perpendicular is 1 and the base is square root of 1 plus x square. Therefore using Pythagoras theorem, the hypotenuse is equal to square root of 1 plus 1 plus x square. Therefore in this triangle, cos phi which is equal to the base upon the hypotenuse is equal to square root of 1 plus x square divided by square root of 1 plus 1 plus x square which is equal to square root of 1 plus x square upon 2 plus x square. Therefore the given expression A which is equal to cos phi is equal to square root of 1 plus x square upon 2 plus x square which is the required answer.